वेलकम टू जे डी क्लिप्स प्लीज एंजॉय दी शॉर्ट वर्जन ऑफ आर फेमस वीडियोज एंड कीप लर्निंग एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो आई वॉन्टेड टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट रेलिवेंस द वर्ल्ड इज इन अस ऑफ इट्स ओन काइंड people like you and i can be we can be in a you know what you, what i call elevated equilibrium because of what we know what we learn what we are mind is fine tuned to but majority of the people continue to be in a morass because killing rape murder for political power the egotistical materialistic ego power all these stuff forces people to act in a particular way to the total detriment of the average innocent life look what is happening in bangladesh the political turmoil between two parties has led to abduction of women and these are all thanks to technology we video it a, a woman is being abducted five or six people and a crowd is running with her and keeping her in the van to rape her where is the solution that's why do the scriptures fail us or is it because we fail the scriptures floor is yours it's a big floor <laughs> but it's a pleasure to dance with you on this particular topic which is of great relevance to the world today one of the things i'm a jyotishi a, a practicing vedic astrologer in which i had a guru i just didn't read a couple of books but at the beginning of my time as a yogi in 1969 i entered an ashram for 5 years with his grace ac bhakti vidanta swami prabhupad and then after that spent 5 years as a brahmachari then i went and studied sanskrit for 3 years with a guru of that from bharat and subsequent to that I studied Sanskrit at the University of Hawaii which had a Banaras pundit who had memorized the 3000 grammatical rules the 2500 grammatical rules of Sanskrit he was a true pundit so I had authentic gurus now the reason i'm saying this is that particular combination number 1 in order to talk about history we have to have a reliable language that doesn't change over time Sanskrit is Sanskritam, the most perfect language. Second, we have to have a world view that is more than one lifetime for us so that we can take a broad view of things rather than a one lifetime view. In Sanskrit this is called Duratma and this is called Mahaatma. Mahatma When Mahatma Gandhi used this word it got politicized. He wasn't really a Mahatma. He was a politician. But a true Mahatma sees each living entity, all beings as immortal atmas who cannot die. Who live forever and have lived forever. No beginning, no end. So just for a moment think of this as the biggest problem in the world. All the abrahamic religions, modern science, they all say we have one lifetime. And that's terrifying and it doesn't explain cause and effect. There's no justice. Jyotish is justice. Jyotish is what comes around what goes around comes around. I call it UPS, universal parcel system. <laughs> and the parcels coming to us are the ones we ordered from the catalog how by our actions so this mahatma world view has not been taught along with yoga along with explaining what india is nobody explains it this way because they don't think it'll be popular because the whole world is trapped in one lifetime so i'm proposing to you that this is the biggest problem till that goes away can't change anything because if you only have one lifetime it's a completely unfair completely ridiculous absurd proposition to say you only have one life and you started out in this particular crazy family or crazy place or something and you only have that and that's all there is 
Nothing is more insane than that. And the Bhagavad Gita is based on the fact, the premise of the Bhagavad Gita is, you're an Atma, you were never born, and you can't die. It's the user's manual for escaping the trap of Kala, or time. So that by way of intro. If we don't change our big view, we'll stay small-minded. Over to you, Kiboti. No? All right. I'll assume that means to keep going. So if you all just please think of this. Think of the context of something is how we decide how to interact with it. Our actions will become inappropriate if they're not in the right context. So let's say that one lifetime is a terrifying context that doesn't truly explain what's going on. And the one thing that gets left out then is a real understanding of cause and effect, which science proposes that it is mastering. But it only believes in one lifetime because they think that if they don't have a one lifetime belief, they're a religion. Well, the Veda is neither religion nor science. It existed before both of those pretenders proposed to be completely right in one tiny lifetime. And so, it really requires a very big change. So just think for a moment that the first change that you need to make in your life to become a Mahatma, to see the big picture, is to stop believing that you die. And to realize that you do not have one lifetime, you have them one at a time. You get a body, whether it was an animal body, a human body, or a deva body. Devas are running the universe, the unseen camera crew that's running the universe is called devas and devis. They're not gods, that's Christian. They're devas and devis. They're the beings running the show, just like this show has got to be run by beings you can't see. So those are the devas and devis. The entire universe is called a jagat, 